What's up, guys? This is Not Your Ordinary Barber with NYO Barbershop. What's up, yeah? So, CT Barber here, NYO Podcast. All right, today we got two of the NYO Barbershop crew. We got Alex, Cuts by Alex, and we got JTB, whatever his name is on Instagram, the John the Barber. barber. In the city. It's J- John the Barber. JT23, that's my barber. JT23. JT23. Mm-hmm. So, what's up, guys? How y'all doing? Chilling, chilling, chilling. Good, good, good. My name is Alex. Um, I'm cut by Alex and then John, John the Barber. You're real serious right now. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, guys, look. All right, so check it out, man. Um, we wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, normally, it's just me and Chris here, but we brought a couple of the guys to do it. Um, I know I got a bunch of questions, but I'm going to let Chris start off with one because I know he's anxious. No, no, I'm not anxious. Um, I'm just excited to see the guys here because, like, it's, it's like... We never got something different to do, and um, no, that's true. I know we got um, I know they 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 gonna laugh today, and we <laughs> gonna chop it up. Gonna be mad in the gym here. I hope y'all honest though, so like don't don't come here and sit down <coughs> just because the cameras are on. It and depends. Shit like it that. depends. Just be honest, and um, no, it's not depends. You just be honest. It depends on the question you ask. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna be honest. It depends on the question. All right, you guys, ask. listen. So you're not gonna get fired over any stupid answers. <laughs> Okay, so what's the biggest problem y'all think there's at the barbershop? At the barbershop. The biggest problem we got at the barbershop that you guys think. Yeah, I would say communication. Communication, definitely. And in what sense? Like us barbers or like the yep. phone? Like what type all of, of communication? Us. Mm, all of us in general, I think I say. And yes. everything in general. Okay, so talk about it a little bit, please. Like an example is when um sometimes, you know, there's like two or three walk-ins waiting. Um, some other people think this barber's free, but in reality he's not. And then he made the walk-ins wait for no reason, and now they end up got to wait. They got to wait extra time for another barber who's actually ready, you know? So um, I say, yeah, like we all got to communicate, let people know, oh, we got somebody after this, so, you know, we're free at this time. That's what I've seen so far, but besides that, no. Okay, Just okay. I'd say that type of communication with walk-ins and people who have appointments and everything. It's a lot, you know. That's that happens in many barbershops. You know, the communication is um, is low. <coughs> um, but the same thing he was saying, the the walk-ins um, with the phone. Some people don't want to pick it up. You hear the phone ringing for a whole minute. Nobody wants to pick it up. Well, sometimes um, I think it's just lack communicating of communicating in general with everything in the barbershop. I think it's just lack of um customer service because sometimes i could be like with my like facing the back my back could be against the, like against against the, the door against and the like door. i might not know sometimes i'm so focused that i might not notice that somebody walked in so like say if i if i'm busy or jose's not there like you guys can do it mm-hmm. like <clears> don't don't <throat> ever feel like embarrassed or ashamed of like saying something the thing to, is that to, to someone like welcome know, to the shop uh, how you that, doing that. do you have an, uh, an appointment you know I always got to kill that little, like, shyness uh, to walk up to the people because they never seen them before and they, they walked in and stuff. You can't be shy and not talk to that person because that person is coming in yeah, and yeah, of course, a new business. <laughs> imagine it if the... Get a cut. If, Where it, if you're shy, they're going to be even more shy. Yeah, but imagine if the business is yours. Like, what exactly. will you do? You have to do... You have you to overcome that and, you gotta and do it, Give it a good right? image. Give it a good so customer service. we all have to collaborate and so, do... If the customer's feeling nervous, like if, if the barber's feeling nervous, imagine the customer exactly. walking through yeah, the door. Exactly. So they don't you know, even you know. You got to transmit that about. confidence to them. Exactly. Yeah. You make him feel. You make him feel comfortable. He's gonna be good, you know. But if now you look like, you know, you're shy. You don't know what you're saying, or you don't know what you're doing. He's always gonna feel. Like exactly. Like away. for example, like um, let's say somebody walks in the barber shop. They sit down. They got like ten minutes sitting there. And nobody has came up to them to ask nothing. And somebody um, decides to look at them and then walk up to them and ask them, uh, are you walking in or do you have an appointment? That person already built up like a little shyness or like a little questioning in them. They're like, damn, I have a couple of minutes in here already and nobody has said nothing till now. Nobody mm-hmm. has so addressed you know, me or well. That, al- that already creates like something in them. To, to like we talked about come back or stay there. We talked about about that last night. That like 
Sometimes you know, like right, we right from was, from the start, like right off the rip, when they walk through that door, you gotta transmit yeah, that confidence, that good we, energy. We gotta make people feel welcome. Mm, that, yeah, exactly. Greet them. Yeah, we gotta like, greet exactly. them. Everybody greet gotta them, greet them. Make them feel like you say, hey, we no, want them to like be there. Home. You know. Yeah. Make so them feel comfortable right away. Like w- once they step in, make them feel comfortable. Like, hey, how you exactly. doing? You gotta play with somebody today. Yes or no? Like, okay, if they don't, you know, somebody will get you in. You know, the next. So yeah, what is what is one of the Many things we could do to to fix that problem that you guys think we have about the bars. I feel like just stand up. You know, somebody just got to stand up. If somebody stands up, uh, you know, it'll be good. You know, like, if I see a person right away and, and you know, it's better, like, for one to stand up than, you know, nobody to stand up no. at all and greet them. Because, like, let's say I'd rather have two of the barbers go right away to the guy and greet them, you know, instead of having nobody. And not, ju- and not just that. Like, you know, like, sometimes, like, we do in the barbershop, like, we do a little meeting before we open up the shop or whatever. And talk everything out, like um, yeah. But you're not, you're everything. never there for the meeting. So how how you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, how you many meetings have you been into, bro? How many meetings? You never had the you never had the meetings. Like, Get him. So, it's too <laughs> it's too early for him. Nah, Get him. <laughs> nah, you know. Nah, I like that. I like I like how you guys like, are. You know, being talk honest and stuff. Out, like um, because. You know, we, you, you, you're not born knowing everything. So, you know, it's somebody that knows something, somebody that doesn't know this, somebody um, that knows how to communicate business-wise a certain way that you don't. So, you know, it's always good to sit down, like, with everybody and talk everything out. Um, we having a problem with the walk-ins. Um, we probably having a problem with the walk-ins in this certain area. We having certain, some problem with this. Like, talk everything out and try to, like, Transmit that little confidence that everybody has, and you know, build something good. Like now, I I, I have a cur- I have a curiosity here. Like, um, I don't work on Sundays. I know Jose doesn't work Sundays. I know. I don't do Sundays. You work you work yeah, Sundays. I, I don't know Sundays, about sometimes. you, Alice. You don't work Sundays, right? Sometimes I do. Okay, yeah. when you're at the barber shop and Ellie's there, or like maybe um, Omar oh. Styles is there. How do you guys greet the, the the customers then when we don't we're not there to do it? Cause I know you're a little shy. Uh, Omar doesn't really do it too much, and Ellie doesn't know English. So how do you guys address the, those type of situations? Well, I mean, when I'm there, I do it. <coughs> I do it right away because I've noticed that too. Spaz is in the back. No, nah, I, I know yeah. you don't really have a problem. Yeah, with I, me, I, I me I sometimes right I'm in the back, and you know my my carpet is facing the like the back of the door. My back is to the door, I mean, um, and sometimes I can't see it, but as soon as I turn around and I see somebody sitting down that wasn't there, um, I walk up to them, be like, do you have an appointment or you just walked in? You know, and try to, like, communicate with them, get everything straight, what are you going to get done? Give them a little smile, talk to them for a little minute so they can feel confident, like, if I, even though if I know, like, they got to wait an hour or two, but, you know, I'm, I just try to make them feel good. Or for that certain time, they they got to wait so they don't feel like um, they're just being on hold and there and that's it. Nobody's paying attention. Yeah, to yeah I know it, it must be hard sometimes because no, like I yeah, when when <laughs> it, <laughs> it must be hard because when you're when you're not used to doing something and, and like just like <clears throat> getting out of your comfort zone just to like do something like tough might be tough for you, but um, but you know I, I like that um that's what I'm saying earlier, you know. It's always got to be like that somebody like that somebody that doesn't have that shyness to like push that person a little bit, yeah, break the ice with it. I used to be shy. I used to be really, really shy. I grew yeah, up. they they ruined you. Nah, I used know. to be really, really yo, shy. he used to nah, be. Yo, he used, used to, to call me to sir every talk. morning. And I was <laughs> like, yo, what up, son? <laughs> <laughs> he went. What was it? To Ecuador, got tattooed, and his whole life changed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> went to Colombia, came back. <clears throat> he went to Colombia, came back, Columbia a whole new different back. person. So Tied it up, like a whole sleeve. Nah, change. Nah, but uh, <laughs> the same as you, you're like... <laughs> I used to not talk, like, at all, at all, at all. Not even to say hi, bye, and that's change. it. Now they say I talk too much. Nah, that's part of, like, growing nah, and, and, and like, much. getting more mature. <laughs> no, he's got like more learning. confidence. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah more confidence, confidence, more everything. So mm-hmm. you learn His hair, because I've gone way I, better, so... I know. I was just, I was just telling him today, you know that moment when shit clicks? Yeah. He's got that moment right now. Yeah, Shit is clicking for him. It's like, okay, it's now I got it. Dog, it's clicking. <laughs> you waking up. Nah, that's what's up. We're proud of you, Alex. Um, I, I mean, shit, he's come guys. a long way, bro. Not yeah, for hell yeah. Hell yeah. He's and why? We all came a long two way. Years? Two years. Two years. A little years. bit over two, two years, years now. JT, JT. Shout out to JT, too. Um, John, bro. 
What's up, man? Going up and up. When did you feel that it started clicking with you? Because you used to spend like three hours in a haircut. <laughs> he still does <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> No, no, At no, the no, point no, where not three, only two, only two, <laughs> <laughs> only two hours. He always denied it, but he know. Nah. He know. <laughs> nah, it, it went from like it went from like two to an hour and a half right now. Yeah. 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 But when when did you feel nah, that that shit now. started to? <laughs> <laughs> when did you feel that that shit started to click though? Real quick. Um, as soon as I came in the shop, I felt like I really had to take it serious because the thing with me was that I used to be a barber before. You know, I had that person that was helping me and stuff, but. Like everybody, you know, it's you always know that little thing like poking you outside mm -hmm. that, you know, I ain't completely focused on it till I got into the shop. You know, and like all of y'all, <coughs> when y'all got on me and I'm like, yo, you got to do this, you got to do that, better up on this, better up on that. You know, it shit gets to you and, you know, it gets to that moment where you feel like nah, you just got to do better for yourself. And you I think about it, you sit down and think about it, and, you know, you just got to do better. Because if you're, if you're doing it, to be in the same spot every single day, just quit it. Don't do it at all. Nah, Why waste your time? Like, nah, but why don't you tell everybody how long you've been cutting hair for, what you started, um, um, so on and so forth. How long you've been out here? How long you've been at the shop? It's like my boy right here, Alex, we got almost two years cutting. <laughs> yeah, two years cutting. Yeah, this month I made two years. Um, I think in November I go for two years. And no lie, since the start, it's been a crazy change, like crazy, crazy change. Not the same at all. What when I got in the shop, I just I, I decided to take it serious, and it's worked out really good. What made you want to start even cutting hair? Um, me, I used to draw a lot. I used to like drawing and everything. So one day that I had a book with like over a hundred pages and stuff. Like tattoos, different tattoos that I uh, I made myself, and I saw my nephew's drawing on it with a Crayola. That was it for me. <laughs> that that broke my heart. I left that drawing stuff behind. My uncle used to be a barber, and I always used to be in the barber shop with him. So you know, when I saw him doing the signs on people's head and stuff, you know, well, part I saw of I saw it like as a different way of art yeah. that I could get into. Yeah, what, what part of New York do you came from? What's the tell me? Sure, tell all, city all over New York. All over New York. I spent the most time in Brooklyn, though. But the last spot where I was at, that was where um, I started cutting, was um, Dykeman. New York. That's like the uh, Bronx. The Heights. <coughs> nah, Manhattan. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that <it> bro. <laughs> That's the Bronx. I came from Queens. Yeah, Manhattan, you know. Those guys out there, like they, they help, they help me definitely. They definitely help me. But you know, as every like young person, you know, you get distracted by certain things and stuff. But I was like, nah, this is not it. So gotta look for a different solution. Let's let's get out of here. So how'd you end up in Pennsylvania? My cousin. I had no idea about Wilkesburg. I I did not know what Wilkesburg was. I did not know it existed. I knew PA <laughs> was Philly to me. That was, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that was it. Yeah, that was it to me. Yeah, because when you yeah, think it was of Philly to me. Pennsylvania, yeah, I, I say Philly or Scranton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Philly, I heard of Scranton before though. I say Philly or Scranton. That's I it. never heard about. <coughs> no, I never heard of. To, yeah, I don't even. Well, Scranton well, is big. Like I, it's like big around here. Bro. I ended up in here and I ain't even know. Two weeks after I was here, I just wanted to leave. <laughs> it was way different than than the city. Mm -hmm. You know, the yeah, life. You you in the city, it's always moving. Everything yeah. fast. You come out here. I have nothing to do. Everything's slow. 6 a.m., everything closes. I get mad at that every single day, but... Sets p.m. You learn how to live with it. <laughs> I'd say I, I lasted six months. Six months, I moved back to New York. I moved back to New York, and I stayed there for eight months living alone, and then I came back because it was just hard living alone. Back and forth, back and forth. It was hard living alone in New York, especially in New York. Cause especially with the bills and stuff. Yeah, it was expensive. I know a lot of people that come out here and then... Um, they go back because they don't. They're not used to it. They don't know anybody. They don't like the lifestyle. Like, bro, I lasted. They don't know how to move around. I lasted yeah. five years going back and forth because I didn't like it out here. It's Some, difficult, it's you know. When, when you're used to, to that life. life, like that, that fast pace, and that you got everything like right there, that you don't mm -hmm. have to be driving everywhere you want to go. I'm glad uh, I moved. When out you come here, to an environment like this, is different. It's different. You feel way different. That no, I like that. I like that, that, that I New like Jersey and New York joint. I like, I, like I just go to New York to like visit and have fun, you know. But here, like, I like it here. You're there like two hours. You want to come back? Yeah. The mm -hmm. thing that I really like the most about 
um, this part on like PA basically is that um, you get time to think about everything that's going on in your life, you know, rather than when you're in the city, you get from work, home, you eat, you take a shower, you spend some time with the family, like an hour or two, and you're back to sleep, to work, and you repeat that cycle all over and all over and all over again. All week. And you don't have time to think or do anything rather than the two days you take or three or a week, let's say, most for vacation. You don't have time to think at all. So, you know, here you, you sit down, you have time to think, you work, you get home, and you have time to spend with the family to do this, do that. Okay, no, so you, like, you, you get more settled. Let me ask you a you question. Start being this, more of this, an adult. This question is for the both of you. Do y'all do y'all have like any hobbies outside of the barbershop mm -hmm. that y'all do? Something that y'all enjoy doing? Love basketball. Go to the gym. Just the you gym. go to the gym. Gym. Play so I barely play soccer, but we're going to the gym. I get home, go to the gym. Or I yeah, go but to the you gym. do you guys do it often or yeah. you know like? Uh, it's like it's cause thing is if I go home, I'm bored. I'm bored, so you like, get the time. I go, I go boom gym. Jimmy. Ladies, just in case you're asking, he's single, by the way. <laughs> so, Alex um, <laughs> that's why he, when he, he gets out of work, he goes home, he's bored. <laughs> Follow the Instagram. <laughs> Follow the Instagram. <laughs> oh, sorry, bro. Like, yo, son, like, he's a hard, he's a good, good kid, good hard worker, kid, good I, you kid. know, good looking. I, you know, I, hey, don't ask me. I don't know, but, you know, hit him up. Cuts by Alex on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> right there. No, let me stop. So, hi, right, you hit the gym. You like playing basketball. Yeah. Whenever yeah, I get a chance. He basketball, he don't go to a court. That's he why I, 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 I <laughs> You just got to go off yeah, there. We got <laughs> the whole winter trying to play ball. You like, you, you going this weekend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, you never Yo, go. Not, you got to film that day. That day go. he goes and he plays Bro. basketball. Bro. First off, if he's got the whole fit on, right, if he's got take if he's picture. got the Chicago oh, Bulls, take a picture. <laughs> take a picture. He got the this is going to be great. Oh, oh. This is going to be kit. awesome. <laughs> Yo, if he's got the whole, if he wears a pair of fresh Jordans to go play basketball, yeah, I remember he does the, not play basketball. The, the, ball before, the first day I took yeah. John to, to the court, <laughs> he herbal, right? He's like, that's the bait. That's the bait. <laughs> Killing me. <laughs> Killing me. I got to stop baby. <laughs> wow. You know, that's you always awesome. got to find that little excuse. Right nah, before. I love this nigga. It's my boy. Yeah. No, that, that's great. All right, so let's talk about the shop. We we we, we, we went real far. <laughs> out of topic. We were gone. We out were, of topic. <coughs> we were far way, away. <coughs> way out of topic. All right, so aside from the communications and all that, right, what... All right, first off, let's go back. You said communication, you know, with each other, trying to figure out some sort of system for the walk-ins, right? Now, what else would you guys change about the shop? Not about our shop in general. I'm, I'll, I'll say, like, about... No, 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 talk about our, our, our the our shop, shop that we're at. Our yeah. shop, yeah. Um, our shop, um, the shyness apart with the walk-ins, when the client is sitting down in the chair, um, <coughs> the shyness when the client asks, us for, asks you for something, and you just get to whatever the client says. But who, who, like shyness? What do you mean shyness? Like shyness to say something to the client about something they ask you for, or something um, about um, talking or starting a conversation. I think okay. that customer service. That's Cause that's something um, essential that a barber has to have. You know, you you have to be able to um, conversate, conversate, conversate with a person. Uh -huh. Now, of course, you had a, you you know you got to have um, that confidence to tell the person when they ask you, oh, let me get a three uh, on top and let me get a a, a mid fade. Some people will tell you that cut, and if you do it, and at the end of the cut, they're like, what is this? Because they, they're not a barber. The professional is you. Sometimes the client asks you for something, and you got to be like, okay, um, how do you usually style your hair? Um, how do you like to brush your hair? How do you like to do this? How do you yeah. like to do that? Because that way you get to, to like um, a point where you know what, uh, what the client likes and what you could like suggest to get to what they like. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, because that happens a lot. Like, client comes in. They sit down, they're like, oh, look, give me this, give me <coughs> that. You do exactly what they said, 
And at the end, they're not satisfied. They're, and then they got a straight face. They're they're mad at the world. <laughs> but you no, did, you, but, even but though you did true. what they wanted. Yeah. It's but true. I, I, in I their head, it's, it, it, it was going to look like how they want it. But it's because they don't know. Exactly, yeah, they don't know. They'll be like, the give me a number four with so a skin you know. fade thing, and they're going to have four inches of hair, and it's not exactly. four inches of hair. You feel me? That's exactly, going to cut yeah. it down to a half an inch. Like, right. How about you, that's, Alice? Why will you change about the barbershop, uh, about our barbershop? <laughs> change is, I don't know, it's hard. But, like, right away, it was just a walk that came out of my like my head right away. But, um... I would say it's like the way we like set up our schedules. I don't know. I just feel like it's the way we set up our schedules. You know, sometimes, sometimes there's walk-ins, and sometimes there's even days where like <clears throat> nobody's there, and only the people who have appointments are there. Like I feel like somebody should just be there at least for like a walk, and you know, like it's cool. It, you know, it's slow and everything. <clears throat> Everybody leaves for lunch or something. But I just feel like one person should stay in there just for a walk, and then you know when the other person comes back. That person can go for his lunch break. Yeah, of course. Because I don't know, I just feel like it's good, you know, if Walken comes in and he sees the shop is empty, only like, what, three, four people <coughs> cutting? And the rest of the barbers are not there. You got to make yeah. sure we play this back in the barbershop so, so everybody sees his, his idea. <laughs> nah, okay? of course, it's true what he's saying, because some, sometimes it's, it's just true. me That's or me, me and Jose just cutting. Yeah. And there's nobody there for Walkins, and then uh, we got to start making calls. And we hate calling you guys, but mm, yeah, sometimes you have to do it because <coughs> who's going to do them? You mm-hmm. might be booked up the whole day. Exactly. I rarely do walk-ins too anymore, so, you know. So that's got to be between you guys. We don't got to tell you guys uh, to, like, oh, how many appointments do you have today so mm-hmm. so we can know, like, what to do and how to set up the walk-ins and how to distribute them, you feel me? So that's something um we got to take care of. But you know, that we sh- we try all that, you know what I mean? It's just all... See, the deal with the thing with that is every barber, mm-hmm. right, has their schedule. They want to keep their mm-hmm. schedule as close as, you know, so they don't have to stay late or run somebody behind. And if they get, don't have an appointment, you know, they don't want to be sitting around in the barbershop. You know what I'm trying to say? So what happens? Customers walk yes. in, and they start getting used to, well, nobody's ever there or they're always booked or, you know, they can never do a walk-in even though it says walk-ins on the door. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, you know, the only one that, that right now should be killing, you know, is, is with all the walk-ins, if everybody leaves, is Brendy. Brendy's always there. Brendy's the yep. one of the, you know. We can, like, put people on your share, but we cannot teach you guys how to really hustle and get more clients and get more money. So that's up to y'all. Like, you know, like, so if you look at a week, right, and, like, let's say in a week you have nobody, but you did four walk-ins in a week. And you guys are, you know, someone complains that the shop is slow. Mm-hmm. Well, how come you didn't go out and get number five? How come you didn't go out and get number six? How come you didn't do number seven? <coughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, you can't put everything on, be, you know, the, the location or the shop. You guys have to go out there, too, and build your clientele. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Um, and that's always been the case, you know? Now, aside from, aside from, from that, what else do you guys think that we should change in the shop? Mm. And that's hard. It, it, it's hard to think sometimes. It's I think we should tone it down with some of that bad bunny. To be honest, to be honest, to be honest, bro, Alejandro yo, yo, I think we, yo, I think we need a pool table in the middle, right in the middle, bro. That's not ever gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yo, middle, guys, listen, check it out. Right we had a Domino's table, right? That, that's not going to get around. <laughs> These guys ran this no Domino's way. table to the ground. Like, they took all the, the, the shine off of it. <laughs> they, they broke the legs. Like, there was customers walking in, and they're telling the customers, yo, hold on a second. Let me finish this round of Domino's, and then I'll take care of you. You know what I'm trying to say? So imagine a pool table. It's just not going to happen. Sorry. It's not going to work. Nah, it'd be for the videos, the videos. Do it for the videos. Yeah. Yeah, the videos. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Something. No pool table. <laughs> that that I think I would change is that uh, most of the barbers don't promote themselves at all, and that's like nowadays one of the biggest things, you know. <coughs> yeah, I for the like barbers, I, f- I feel like you know, um, yeah, sure. like putting up videos. Um, making like little cuts after the cut, a little before, a little after. 
um, put it on your story, tag the person, so you know, like that that person could like put them put you on the story too, and you know you can get more out there. Mm-hmm. May, or if you don't want to post it on the story, yeah, at least like record a video, send it to that person. That person put and puts it on their story. They ask them, um, who's the barber? Who did it? You know, you get out there more. You know, so like well, you guys have you guys yourself. have been doing it more. Like I see it, you know, every day, you guys put something up. Um, you know, you know, uh, and it's free. It's not. It's not like you're being charged for it. You know, you got TikTok. Uh-huh. Um, you got Instagram. You got Snapchat. Snapchat. Yeah. Also, to, also to uh, add on, I was gonna say, I feel like it's everybody. I feel like if everybody does it, it will bring more audience to, the, to like the shop. You know, like we're gonna be well known. Exactly. So we get right away, gonna see. Okay, this guy's from NYO. We hear about this guy. He's from NYO. <clears throat> Part of the point is, you're gonna see he's from NYO. That person is from NYO. NYO is gonna be, you know, big like. Right now, we gotta yeah, do yeah, is, exactly, yeah. is sh- I feel like that's what we should change. Uh, honestly, like everybody be active on social media, because you know if we wanna like, you know, explode like throughout you know worldwide by states, we gotta explode local first. You know, mm-hmm. that's what I feel like we should do. Explode lo- local first. You know, get our name out, get our name out there, and like you know people right away know us. So if he's from NYO, oh yeah, I know that shop. Yep. Everybody, um, I feel like everybody should get active. If we on rise, Instagram. if we rise, if we go up, um. The shop is definitely going <laughs> up because um, one thing with the barber is that whatever barber shop you work on, it's always going to be on your back. You know, you're always going to carry that name on your back because you know, when you cut somebody, that person goes in the street, they're going to ask for the barber, but they're going to ask where the barber works at, where's the location, yeah. where where are they at, how can I get to them, you know, so, so that name's always going to be there, you know. It's also good for like everybody to promote themselves because then you know everybody promotes their good work, everything on social media. Anybody, anybody would just feel comfortable coming in the NYO barbershop and just getting a cut with anybody else. You know, like yeah. you see, all right, you know, I know him, I know him, I know him. I could just go in and get a cut with anybody and feel comfortable. Like yep. nobody, you know, I just feel like that's good that we explode locally, like we get our name out there locally and just grow. You know, we do that locally, we could do that everywhere. You know, that's what I think. Locally, I'm not gonna lie. Locally, I feel like Thanks. you exploded a, a long time ago. Cause for yeah, me lo- personally, lo- locally, locally, uh, yeah, locally, definitely. Mm-hmm. Cause you know, um, um, we we can't even we have more. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. so shop. You run into you run into so <laughs> many people. Nah, so yeah, shop, yeah, we yeah, we're doing. No, we just gotta get really like put some work in and get out the the uh, out the Wilkesburg area. No, not even Wilkesburg, cause we got client that uh, clients that come from Scranton. Mm-hmm. We got but a lot of clients that come from ch- way farther. College, like Philly, all of that. Jersey, Jose Jer- got clients exactly. from Strasbourg, Jersey, like all of mm-hmm. Me and myself, I got clients that come from New York and everything. Philly, mm-hmm. you know, we just gotta uh, work on getting more out there. That's why I, I was saying earlier about the promotion. Like you know, but ourselves. you know, <clears throat> that that's two different things, right? So let's say you decide, you know, and and and, and I fall victim to this too. You know, you post things. If you look at the shop page now, we were talking about it. Maybe we should do separate, you know, the shop page and the podcast page because you're kind of mixing the two, right? <coughs> so you <Yeah>. get, <coughs> you kind of have to keep it separate, right? So if you want something and you want to to network and you want to get out past the area, past locally, that's something you should do separately, you know? If you want to get more customers, clientele, somebody from uh, New York, it's very rare that he's going to come all the way three hours just for a haircut. You know, if you promote yourself locally um, with, you know, people in the area um, and you have a page just for that, I I would say it's probably better than having one page and you're trying to reach other barbers and other people in different states. Um, You know, try to keep that separate. I wouldn't say mix the two. I mean, if it happens, it happens. Cool. But it's very rare that, you know, you're going to be putting posts and you're trying to reach an audience that locally they're not going to see or they're not going to care what you're doing locally. You know what I'm trying to say? So yeah. I would say locally, try to accomplish locally, be somebody in your in your, in your your neighborhood, yeah. be someone in the town you live in before you, d- you know, worry about reaching out to like other states and reaching out to other people. Yes. You know what I mean? That's what I was saying. I was saying be well-recognized locally. Once you're well-recognized re- well locally, there you know you could go up. Yeah. Go up and explode however you want. John talked about promotion. So... What's something that you guys will do besides 
social media to promote yourself? That's the a question, question for for the two of you. Uh, sometimes in the gym, I just be handing out cards, or mm. sometimes I just I just you know uh, uh, to a point I ca- it came to a point where I just leave <laughs> business cards <laughs> in the. <coughs> I leave business ca- business cards right in the locker, and then I just go. Oh, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Yeah. That's, mm-hmm. how I, that's how I do it. And then people I know, <coughs> I say, yeah, that's what I mostly do, you know, just hand out cards whenever I see somebody. Something I did for a little minute, too, was um, all my clients, um, I try to um, offer, uh, let me see. Discounts. Um, Promotions. Yeah, basically discount, uh, like a discount. Like, um, you bring two people <coughs> more with you, uh-huh. um, mm-hmm. and your cut's gonna be like seventy five percent off, or your cut's gonna be free, or whatever. You know, look like a little promo, like a little discount, or something like to make them feel like you know, appreciate some sort of incentive. <coughs> yeah, I used yeah, to do that. Exactly. That's that's I said bring two incentive. people, bring two people, and your next cut is ten dollars off. That's what I would tell you. I, n- I never yeah. thought it about that. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I always you know, said free. Get out there. Bro, I never ask, thought about a discount. I always gave them like a free haircut, bro. <laughs> before, before I used to say I got him. <laughs> Damn. I'm going to take a whole then hour right then there. Then after free. I was like, I was like free, bro. Yeah, and after I was like, nah, I'll give you $10. You know how out, many. Bro. <laughs> you said you don't have any free haircuts I gave away? He's like, nah, yeah, for for like people bringing other people, bro. Yeah. Oof, no, that person them. that you got sitting down right there is like <laughs> somebody that potentially could bring it, you two more. It just went from free to 50% off right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving discounts now. That was like $10 off. I ain't giving no more. Thing is, the thing is, I had, the only problem I had with that was that the people who would bring the people, they would come like on a Saturday and a Friday, and then you're like, "Damn, I gotta cut this person for free on a Saturday and a Friday." I don't know. See, I mean, it, it, it's good. See, but time. you guys are doing that wrong, man. That's not going. No, it has to be at the same <laughs> time. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, look, you come to get a haircut, yeah. and you bring three people with you. Exactly. That's then I give it to you. They would tell me, yeah, is, yeah, no, exactly. they would tell me, is, all right, listen, my friend is going on Tuesday and your mother friend's going on Wednesday. But that's because no, you no, have no, it set up wrong. You got to be you like, yo, y'all got to come at the same time or else it's not free. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See, no, I, 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 I didn't think about work. that, but yeah, you're right. Nah, I used to do that. That, yeah, that would be no. the problem. If it, that, at the same time or the same date, right? Yeah. Same date. No, no. Same, same time. Same time right there. One, he straight. No. <laughs> no, for real. Y'all got to come together. That's if y'all straight. can't come together, you miss out on the, discount. Like, you know, on the discount. On Saturday, discount, like, not free haircut. Free, <laughs> he said discount. <laughs> Let me get discount, that straight. <laughs> discount. Yeah. I mean, but I'm not doing that. I mean, these guys are okay, just so y'all know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was a little minute ago. <laughs> no, but I mean that's cool. We, I mean, we, uh, you know what? Another thing, I still keep another going. thing that worked yeah. real good was side. punch cards, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah. that's something I did. I had punch cards where it was like you did nine, <laughs> you do, <laughs> <laughs> you get. Nine. <laughs> the thing is, hey, so what? So if car washes could do it, why not a barber shop? They said I got a free one on my birthday, bro. That's coming <laughs> up. <laughs> Please bring your ID. No, but yeah. check it out. But listen. Listen to me. You're going to see Barbie's doing this shit all through Wilkes-Barre right now. Punch cards. You got nine customers. The 10 one's free. Right? So yep. instead of a customer coming once a month, they're going to be like, man, you know what? I'm going to try to come every two weeks because I want that free cut. You feel me? Yeah. People do a lot of things for free things. Yeah, man. man. Mm-hmm. That's true. So we got John and Alex with us, but we added another person to the mix. I want you all to say hello to Brendy. Brendy, say what's up. Hello, Brendy. Brendy cuts. <laughs> Lee cut. Lee cuts, cuts by Lee. My cuts bad. by Lee. Cuts by Lee. <laughs> oh, I got a question about that name. <laughs> about that username. Go ahead. Hiya! <laughs> it's just my phone. I love the first letter and then Lee. My okay, se- okay. Name. Where does that come from? My first letter from the first First letter. name and your yeah. um, middle name, Lee. Lee. Okay. Mm. Now, before we uh, added Brendy, we... Um, John over there wanted to ask a question. He thought it was very important. So we had to change his memory sticks just to make sure we had enough. <laughs> <laughs> enough just I mean, to make I'm sure we had, a, we had enough room for it. Okay. Um, so the question was, how is it carrying with the responsibility of a barbershop, of a business, owning one? There's a lot, man, you know? Um, you know he's telling you that he's leaving, right? Is that he? question. Is he? He, he leaving? 
You really leave it? <laughs> then they open nah, up nah, a barbershop. Nah, nah, we, we, we're <laughs> not opening Those are the signals of a barbershop. Um, I don't, I, I mean, there's a lot, dude, you know, but I like it. I like it. There's a lot more headaches that people realize. Yeah. Um, what was what's behind the scenes that people don't see, see that um, when they see a businessman, they think they see a rich man instead of a uh, man with big responsibilities and a lot of headaches. <clears throat> um, basically, what they don't see is a business owner in some sort of part or way is still responsible for for his employees. And what I mean by that is whether you try to keep it separate or not, it's hard for for a business owner to keep um, to keep personal and business separate because you do, you know, you get used to people you work with, you know, you start start liking them, you know, and it's real hard yeah. to kind of keep separate that separate. Separate the business I mean? part from, from the relationship between you yeah. and, and the person. And the other thing that's real hard too, man, is that you got, whatever, let's say there's nine barbers, you got nine different personalities you're dealing with, you know? Mm-hmm. Nine different problems, nine different family problems, um... And yeah, sometimes it does get become a lot. Then you got all the bills. <coughs> then you got the I dealing mean, yeah, with bills, the all that stuff. <coughs> space you want on your renting. Yep, it's a lot that comes with it. You feel like it'd be easier if you just were just a business owner but not work there. Mm-hmm. Same thing. No, because it's I easier. I'm the type of person that I just it's hard for me to just let something like that be out the picture. You know, without well, some people do that, right? Some people own barbershops, they just leave their shops there, they just come to collect rent and then come back, you know? That's exactly what um, some do. what um Sal was trying to explain that like to be a business owner that you don't really that you don't stress yourself and, and like try to separate and kinda you gotta kinda let go. Yeah. Start like learn how to let go and like not worry so much because whether you're there or not, things are gonna get done. Yeah, that's you know, that, that's kind of. You what, also what have to put the right people in place. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, in order that to happen. Yeah, sure. yeah. yeah. that was my happen. question to, to him. Like when we we're at the at the expo too, because um, I was concerned about him. Like, but how do you find the right person to do that? And that's when he said that like those are people that you that, that grow with you. Yeah, that, exactly. that, like, you got to build the person that, that you can yourself. trust. So that's how that you when you walk out that door. You're not gonna have to be getting calls to your phone that oh this is going on this is going on this is happening this and that this and that. Mm-hmm. But you gotta run back to the shop, you know, have some like a person all that oh this person could be in charge of this and in charge of that, and you know, some leave people that you know is gonna be responsible for everything in the shop, have everything work and normal. You know, and I, and I do, and I you know I put Chris into that position, you know. And um, when I'm not around, I know I feel comfortable that I know he's going to do the right thing. You know what I mean? He knows how I like to shop brand. And and apart from that, um, like in our shop and in every barber shop, I say that every single barber has to feel like an owner in the shop. You know, well, in, you guys in, the sense, in the sense of that, that business, even though it's not ours um, like on papers, it's basically ours because we're there um, daily. We're there all the time, any single time that we got asked where we work at, um, where we work at, is gonna be that business. You know that 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 little spot is that that thing that's gonna represent you. And not only that, that and that you're gonna like, re- represent. Oh. All your mm-hmm. tools and all the things that you have invested in is in there. So yeah, say, exactly. say somebody so breaking you know. the barbershop and they take, let's say, most of all our things in general, they're going to take your things too. Exactly. So that's the money no. you're investing. That's, that's for getting, the business. Stolen, so you no. got to think uh, or think about it that way. That like, you got to take care of it, not just yours, but exactly. everything you know, in the know that, That's one thing barbers got to do, you know, definitely. Right. You know, you got to um make yourself feel like you know i'm i'm part of like the owning part of the barbershop you know i work well, that, here this that, represents that me that station is your business exactly yeah you gotta, exactly you know, i know right off the rip which barbers will be able to open a barbershop and which barbers would not be able to just by yep. their work ethic you yeah, know definitely. by the way they work the way they come, their their customers are there, but you know their their appointments are there before they're there. I know that 
they're not going to be able to, to do that eventually. You know what I mean? If they don't come to work on time, right. you know, all these things come into play, you know. Um, another thing for you guys to think about, too, a lot of people don't realize this. A lot of barbers don't realize this, too, is is what happens if something happens to all your tools and everything? Like he said, let's say somebody broke in and stole all your stuff. It counts for all of us. Muñeco, al favor. Right? So, yeah, that's all we could do. as a business owner, I'm covered. It. I know if they break in and take all my shit, I call my insurance company. So why can't you guys call up and get insurance for yourselves? Exactly. Mm -hmm. you know, that's something you guys should think about. Yeah, that's, what I, that's, that's what I mean <clears> on the <throat> part of like Renters thinking as a business owner, too. <clears throat> you know, Yeah, you guys have tool chests. There's keys. You can lock your stuff up. But I've seen up? crackheads with super strength pick up a fucking tool chest and walk down the block with this <laughs> shit. You know what I'm trying to say? So, you know, that's just something to think about. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, anything could happen. You know, just, you does that go under um, renters day. insurance or business business insurance? Business insurance, right? And you can probably like if you have Progressive. I don't know if you guys have car insurance or whatever. Progressive, that's something you guys can look into too and tell them. Look, I want up to X amount. Of uh, coverage, you know, hundred thousand, fifty thousand, twenty thousand, ten thousand, whatever you guys think your tools are worth, and 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 get that covered. That's just something I would suggest. It's probably like sixty bucks a month, forty bucks a month, maybe less than that. Maybe less, That's what's up. depending on what it is. So, Brendy, how you doing today? I'm good, and you? Good. <laughs> All right, so why don't you tell everybody what made you? All right, so first off, Brendy's been with me now for about. A year in December, right? So December, so a year and going on three months. Okay, mm -hmm. when she started, she didn't know anything about cutting hair. She didn't even know what the tools were. Um, so, why don't you why don't you explain a little bit about your journey and what made you even want to come to the shop to to start learning? To be honest, um, I'm just trying to like better myself. Um, I'm trying to get some stuff done before my 30s, and I feel like that was the best option okay. at that time, and it was like the easiest. Well, not the easiest, because he, he's not easy at all. Mm -hmm. Nothing easy about oh, the barbershop? No. <laughs> Trust mm -mm. me. No. But like, like, I knew you, and I like, I feel like it was going to be a little easier to like learn yeah how did you end up in jose's barbershop uh, how you well i was i was at duncan and like that day i remember <coughs> i was mad as hell um oh, something yeah. happened there like usually <laughs> um um i remember that he came for yeah <laughs> he came for he his coffee, coffee yeah. and i was like I need to talk to you. And he was like, okay. You told you Jose? Me. Yeah. Okay. He was like, okay, you can call me or text me. I don't remember, but like, we end up like texting and like, he was like, you can come um, to the barbershop. We can talk, da da da. Um, whenever I got there, we talked. And then he was like, you can come. Um, I think it was for a week or two weeks. So I can like. See if you even like See it, everything. Yeah. And then. Yeah. So how do you feel about the shop now? Do you like cutting hair? You still like, you know, like, what, what, what do you think about it? I do. I, I enjoy it more. At first, like, it was a little harder, like, to get used to it and to the hours. And, like, I'm trying. Well, talk about that. I mean, you know, people don't realize, some, you know, you do, like, what? You work two jobs. Yeah. Right? So talk about that, what that's like. I, like, I'm used to uh, 3 in the morning to 12, like, shift. It's, like really early in the morning and then I just rest for the day. But um, now I just like go to my house, get ready and then go to the barbershop. So I have like, I have no time for myself right now. It's just like work and then, you know, go home and then. So wh what's your goal? Are you gonna stop working at Dunkin' Donuts? Like well, what's your goal for the barbershop? What do you wanna do? I ha I know I have to I I don't know why I have some kind of attachment to Duncan because like Cause I've been working for their them for <laughs> for three years. Um, Are you the manager there? Or <laughs> no, um, I was gonna be assistant manager. I was getting trained for assistant manager at Ethersville. 
So why you feel like you can't let go? If, if you're, you don't I don't know, like, like, a, like a I learned everything there, like the English, there. like everything, like all my experience in PA Came are from like, from, yeah, okay. Duncan. So how do you feel like, what was your, your thought about barbershop versus what's said now that you're going through it? Um, like what, am I? what did you think about the what shop? Did, like what, the whole what, atmosphere and yeah. what, like basic. I think that's what you mean, right? Yeah. Well, what was your perspective about the barbershop versus what it is now that you're going through it? I don't know. Like, I, it's a lot different than what I was expecting. What were you expecting? Yeah, like with you as like man, and you know all the arguments with us, like all that stuff, and then. They're not arguments, but you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know. She likes um, to argue. What are you expecting about the bubble no, shop? Like, they like to, to talk argue. a lot. Like, she they like to, to talk argue. a lot. They, they talk it's about. It's equal. Come on now. If, I, if y'all ever need a y'all lawyer. Y'all talk about females, but huh. Hit and up. Chime. Y'all love chime. What's said in the barbershop stays in the barbershop. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> So go ahead. Yeah. So how, so what, what what's the difference besides the cheese man and shit like the 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 gossip that guys do? You thought that the barbershop was what it, you know what you thought back then is what the barbershop is to you now or like it's what, how do you see? It? I never yeah, like question. had a like perspective. Like I just used to go to get my um, little cousins like haircuts done and that's it. Like I never like spent time. So you never that. had like I a never vision had, for it. I didn't know not <coughs> like nothing at all. Like okay. not like Okay. Nothing about haircuts, nothing, like literally nothing. How about now do you like it? You don't like I it? I do like I don't. What do you what do you don't like about NYO barbershop? I I like NYO. Like I love it. Yeah. <laughs> That's my house. Is there is there like something you you've like learned besides cutting hair from the shop? Like that you could like carry on um like in a every day uh, as an everyday thing i don't know the way you make it happen every day like it don't matter what's going on at home you just show up and give yeah, your best that. and you know i like that about every like barber like you i feel like you are special in your own way what uh is there anything you want to ask any of us Because I wasn't, I wasn't gonna do this. I'm forced. <laughs> she here. wasn't expecting. She wasn't I'm expecting. I'm being forced. To be sitting here. So what's the hardest no. part about what you're going through now between the two jobs? All right. So you know what? Forget the two jobs. The barbershop. Because I mean, Duncan. Okay. Like what? Like what's the hardest thing about it? The barbershop for you. To remember things like little details that you tell me, and you, I know you're tired of like repeating yourself but like i just forget like i'm like i feel like i learn fast but i forget fast too and like that you forget things about like how to make everything a haircut in general or like, like i just i forget like okay here's here's one mistake that a lot of like uh, like a lot of people think about barbers you know pero, pero do you drink that rest of that bottle right there, bro? <laughs> <laughs> it, it sure no. did. I'm no. like, I it look sure at his cup, but I'm like, this nigga's cup is still got liquor in this shit. Over here. Can I empty. drink this? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'm no. sorry, bro. Oh, yeah. uh, So, um, I'm going to say that uh, a lot of coffee. people think, you know, about barbers and stuff. Um, is that you could walk in the barbershop because you, um, not, not, not that you could walk, like, that knowing how to cut hair makes you... A barber and barbering is not just about cutting hair when you're a barber you got to learn marketing when you're a barber you got to learn service. as we said earlier um about communication customer service um you got to learn how to be a psychologist because you mm-hmm. got to be there for some people mm-hmm. um they gotta you got to know how to give like a word of relief Advice. A lot of things, you know, you know, you got to learn how to give advice to people. A lot, you know, the, the, it's a lot besides just cutting hair. 
You know how yeah. to talk with them, you know, build a relationship with them. Not like nothing, you know, too informative or nothing, but like, you know, something simple. Exactly. <laughs> Say, hey, how you doing? How's your day going? Boom, you know, how's the family? Good. And then, you know, you just keep going. I don't know. I feel like for customers, like a therapy more. Yeah, Yeah, because, you know, (laughs) the the thing with with the clients and the barber is that the client, apart from coming to get a cut, comes to the barbershop to sit down and, and, you know, have a conversation, you know, have a good friend to to talk to while they're getting a cut, you know, because I could give you... The, the best haircut that you ever gotten in your life. And if you didn't like the way that um, I am, that I talk or anything, it's more of a chance that you're not coming back than the chance that you're coming back to my chair. Because yeah. you, e- you could easily find somebody that cuts good, yeah. but you're not easily going to build a good relationship with any person. No, the vibe that, is, that, the, that, the, that the makes vibe, a lot. The vibe between, the vibe from when they walk through the door. It's, it's, it's the most essential part about the whole thing. Probably, yes, it's you're the most cli- important you're thing. You're going to get clients, you know, they send the chase like, yo, I got to put you on, and then boom, you know, everything starts. And all that, exactly, all that happens, yeah. you just keep cutting and cutting, you know, you get the job done and you get the conversation. You know, because, you know? mm-hmm. well, like like, and apart from, like, um, the client and you vibing and stuff, when, when you vibe with the client and stuff and you make a good relationship, that's when they get you out there, okay, you know. So that's when they start feeling more confident about telling um, one of their friends, um, "Yo, um, you, um, I'm gonna put you on with my barber, bro. He's gonna hook you up. He's gonna do this. He's gonna do that." But if his barber is somebody that always got a, a, a straight face, doesn't know how to start a conversation, that person gonna be scared to send somebody there, even though you cut good, because you gonna make him feel bad and you are gonna make that person look bad. No. Okay, so I got a question for all of y'all, starting with Jose. What's more important, the haircut or the customer service? Customer service. What's customer. more important? Customer service. Customer service, <clears throat> customer service definitely. 90%. Yeah. Right and and I agree because um, I say it because, like, I've seen it, like, with my, with my own experience, my own eyes, that, like, other barbers, they could, like, put people on your share. And that barber could cut you like ten out of ten. Yeah. And maybe because they don't know each other, maybe because it's the first time that they ever interact with each other or whatever, mm-hmm. they might judge the haircut because of the customer yeah. service that they the receive. Exactly. Yeah. Of that barber. Um, from the minute question, that right? they sat down on that chair. You didn't make them feel confident. Uh, you ain't make them feel good. You know, you ain't get a laugh out of them or something, a little yeah. smile. But you uh, lace the haircut. About it. You lace exactly. the haircut, you but the, your customer service was trash. It was probably you like got two them, out of You ten. got them fly. Mm. Like yeah. Fly, That's fly, when, like super fly. When they That's get true. the bad vibe, when they receive. Exactly, yeah. yeah. They feel like you didn't do a Got them super fly, but, you know, if that communication, if that little smile wasn't there, forget about it. That That's person that walked out the door, Worked out for good. He ain't coming back. <laughs> I actually, I, hold on. I got a question for Brendy. What is the hardest part of, about being the the only female barber in the barber shop? Besides the argument about, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> besides the fighting, and she stuff. ain't got no help. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't got no help. She ain't got nobody to like back her up when she start one. arguing. We always <laughs> argue with her, and she, she yeah. There be times. <laughs> yeah, there be times that Omar <laughs> comes out the back room to <laughs> jump on her too. So <laughs> like, <laughs> I'd be like, God damn. <laughs> like like nine nine people don't get me started. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, real quick. I'm sorry. So just imagine this little dude coming out of a back room just to, like, yeah. <laughs> it's like a little leprechaun coming out the back. <laughs> no, but go ahead, go ahead. What, what, what's the hardest part for you? Um, whenever the customers um, ask me for my number for other, like, things, not professional, you know. Like, I know, like, whenever... They don't text me for professional stuff. Like keep it professional. Yeah, keep it. Yeah, yeah th- th- please <coughs> keep it professional. You you ever had like a, a, a bad you experience with a customer about I'll them? Be slick Not with bad, it. but be I had obvious. like a couple of them texting me like eight in the morning or like. Okay, so talk about like talk about our whatever little bit. time. Like, oh, do you want to smoke? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? Like, I'm not. And you didn't know like, the the person like the yeah the customer? like. Yeah. It was a customer. And it was just a customer. Oh, okay. Like, cool, so we can be friends, but, like, keep it professional. Oh. 
She's a professional, you know. And that's the hardest part about being the only woman in the barbershop. Yeah, yous don't make me feel no type of way, but like, yeah, it's that's cool. Like so it's you not know, even, not even when the little leprechaun comes out the back. <laughs> it's like, yo, that you day know. was hilarious, bro. That's something <laughs> Everybody something I'll say about that same thing that she just explained, like, about people hitting up, her up, like, for, for different things. And, like, in a way, you're going to feel bad, you know, but you got to learn how to put up with it, you know. And you got to learn how to use things to your advantage, you know. Um, not make... Uh, not let, I'm, not, I'm exactly not let any of that. Yeah, you should um, tolerate, don't tolerate. Exactly, yeah, that don't, 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 keep, keep, don't let it go far. Keep don't don't, don't let it get to your head, you know. Keep just um, when you see anything weird, you know, just try to like bounce it off, you know, so change change the theme to something yeah, else. No, we just keep it you professional, know. and that's it. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah, if you exactly. feel it's something very weird or something that you don't mm-hmm. feel safe, bounce say something to us, like. No, I remember when to. I started, one of your customers, like, he threw me a kiss. I'm yeah. like, are you serious right now? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm like. <laughs> That's specific, too. <laughs> I'm like, are you serious right now? I'm like, whatever. There you go. <laughs> nah, but yeah, definitely. Just say something if you don't feel safe or whenever you, you know. But, um. Yeah, just like, you know, basically just, I mean, tell them, you know, keep it professional. If they keep doing it, block them and, and you know. If they start showing up in the shop and you know start getting a little funny, then say something. I mean, you got yeah, right? of course. even if it's not to me and I'm not around, you got eight other people there that are, that'll help protect and, and do things too. So, you know, not around. only that, but there's customers that do look at you like a female, like really, you gonna yeah. cut my hair? They're not used to it, you know. Don't feel ashamed yeah. of doing <laughs> what you're learning. It's just how to that do you got you know a, a, a woman in a man's space. No. But I feel like you like you don't have to be rude. Like you can no, be no, like, not at all. Yeah, exactly, you know, no, but, but you know, not, not like everybody acts the same Yeah, but way. then again, you got people that walk in the barber shop and it's loud as hell. Like, oh, who's the nicest barber in here? Yeah, you exactly. don't look like you know how to cut hair, and you're like, yo, bro, like I just I'm, I'm sitting here playing volleyball. Like, what the fuck you think I'm doing here? You know? exactly, like, I'm so playing. like, you can't really get offended by that because people are some people just do the ignorant shit. You know yeah, what I mean? That's right. Use that as motivation. You know, so you just like yeah. prove them wrong. That's it. You just got to do how I say it. I'll be like, when somebody's trying to, uh, like, underestimate me, I'll be like, oh, if you feel the cut is trash, you don't like it, the cut's on me. You have a seat. Yeah. If it's trash, if you don't like it, anything you want to say about it, it's free. Don't worry about it. You could have a seat. <laughs> yeah, I even get that sometimes, that sometimes too, like, <clears throat> I don't know, see, I've had this one person tell me, I never had an Ecuadorian come out here before. Like, it's either they told me always Dominicans so and Puerto Ricans what? know how to cut hair only, you know, and then racist. I'm like, I'm like, you know what, sit down, bro, I got you. If you like it, then so you know. Wow, where you from, exactly, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You you can't let any of those comms, you know, get to you, get, get to you, you know, because at the end of the day, people are always going to talk. People are always going to say this. People are always going to say that. No matter what, you know, that's always going to be there. That's something that's not going to be missing in the picture. But you just got to learn how to put up with it and use it to your advantage, and that's it. Somebody come telling you, oh, you don't know how to cut. I don't know about y'all, but I, like, I, okay, I love when people, like, like on their You don't like it. Yeah, I like it, too. Yeah. Mm, I like respectfully, it too, when, like they it. Yeah, respectfully. when they do it um, respectfully. When they do it respectfully, yeah. One thing is saying that, oh, you look like you don't know how to cut. And yeah. another thing is say, oh, somebody recommended it you. I want to see what's up with you. Mm-hmm. That's the two different type of things that I, like, I've been through and the things yeah, exactly. I, I receive yeah. about people and customers. Mm-hmm. And you know, one one thing is to one underestimate. I them. One the other, <laughs> I showed them what's up with me. That's it. <laughs> yeah, one thing is to underestimate, and <laughs> so one I'm thing sure is to, it's, it's to like throw the other person on, like on underground. You remember no. that dude? He was like, "You look that, like you don't know how to cut." I don't remember that. Wait, I didn't cut his ass. Oh, the birthday guy. I want him to come back. I want him to come back. Let's go. I'm not going to do it, man. I'm not going to do it. Let's talk about the birthday guy. (laughs) 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 What happened to the birthday guy? I want to know. I wasn't there, but I I, I hear different stories. I want to hear from you. (laughs) What happened to the birthday guy? So you had just left. And then I was was still in the back where where Spaz is now. I was all the way in the back. And then this guy comes in, mind you, I was gonna leave. This guy comes in, he's like, Oh, who can come in? Who can come in? I'm like, I know I got him. And I'll stay, I'll stay longer. You know, I'm like, I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna stay longer. So I stayed longer. Mind Wait, you did the haircut? Yeah, I did the haircut. So I stayed longer for the guy, just for the guy to get a haircut. So I'm like, You know what? I got you. Come. 
<clears throat> then bro he just starts like you know how to cut you know how to cut but at that time like i felt like i was still nervous i was i was i wasn't i wasn't confident at all like i was still shy and shout everything. out to giovanni mm-hmm. by the way and right away off the bat <laughs> i know i gave bad vibes so he got the bad vibes too and you know he just kept why did you gave bad vibes mm-hmm. because he, he got me nervous. nervous i got nervous i got oh. nervous so see you could tell when somebody you know you could, you could tell <laughs> he, when saw a, the, he saw the body you could tell when a, bar, when a barber gets nervous you know so I, I, at that point like i really didn't know how to handle those type of situations so okay. like i got nervous and he you know he just started talking the more i got nervous the more he started talking and then the more he started talking i'll get more nervous. what was he saying he was talking about true he's like no, yeah he's like you know how to cut he's like this and that he's like he's every time i would touch his hair he would look in the mirror this and that i'm like yo bro like <laughs> it was bad bro like I would touch it, you know, line it up. He's like, hold on, hold on, boom. He checks in the mirror. I'm like, okay, okay. And then so hold on, he tell you to hold on so you can look <laughs> yeah, at it. Yeah, he tell me to hold. Exactly, it was. It was I that hate bad. that, bro. And I was. I don't I was, get that <clears> shit. <throat> Mind you, I was in the back and I was just starting. Like I just. That's how I put. I put the the chair. <laughs> face, wait, wait, wait. Not facing no, the let, let him tell the story. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so um. Then yeah, at a point he's like, "Yo, you know how to cut?" He's like, "Yo, bro, it's my birthday, bro. You know how to cut? It's my birthday, bro." I'm like, "I'm like, bro, like." Yeah, like, I feel so bad if he was fucked up because it was his birthday. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know. Point. He's like, "I'm paying for this haircut, bro." And then that's when Manor comes and he's, he he helps me. He's like, "Yo, bro, it's my birthday, bro. Help me out. I'm paying for this haircut, bro." <laughs> and Manor's like, "Oh yeah, I know you're paying for this haircut, bro." And then he starts going and, and mind you, like I guess you could tell like and one of my men feel comfortable right away. Then you know I started doing the next side and then he. I don't know something about the sideburns not being like too low or something like that. It was just <laughs> bothering me, bro. And it was just annoying. And at the end of the day, Menor ended up finishing the cut, and then yeah, he just you felt bad, right? Yeah, and I, I I didn't feel bad. I was mad because I'm like, damn, I stayed, I stayed, I stayed extra time. Like I took time out of my own personal. T- I could have left, you know. Like the shop was already closed. I could have left yeah. out of my own will, out of, out of my own good. Um. You wanted to cut his exactly. Hair. I'm like, I wanted to cut. I'm like, you know what? Let me do this. I want to cut. <laughs> After that, man, I got scared. I'm like, nah, I'm not cutting. Like, but those, those, those like, are I'm things you gotta learn how to put up with. I'm like, I, I, I'm like I, I, if the owners, uh, if the owners not here, I'm not cutting. The owners not here. I'm not cutting them, bro. After that, bro, that's me. That's me. I swear. I had that bad experience. I'm like, nah. If Jose leaves, I'm leaving too, bro. No te puedes poner ya que que ya estás está yendo. Imagine, imagine, imagine Jose. You're already dying everybody up. You see how you leave leave with Jose? You know, I'd stayed. I stayed to do the extra guy, and then I get that. I'm like, nah, bro, never again, bro. I was mad. I, guess I, I wasn't fucked. even. I wasn't even. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck into the barber shop mad, forever. Yeah. I'm like, damn. Yeah. Like, I took my own time. What about you, John? You ever had something happen to you that you was that in this shop? <laughs> nah, nah, something. <laughs> shit, you know, especially when you started in the barber shop, you know, you go through a lot. Not one thing. You go through a lot. Especially that first. All one. right. So talk about one thing that sticks out in your mind, real quick. Pops out right Um. Head. That same thing, people, you know, the same way he was saying, they come, they sit in the chair, they start you want me to give doubting you one? about this, they start you want me to give you about one? that. I want to hear it. You want me to give you one? I want to hear it. Talk about the guy that he said, but you told me it was 40 and now you charge him at 60. Oh, sh- <laughs> one thing, that that's that's another thing that I hate. I that <laughs> another, my client trying to par- like <clears throat> put a price on my product. Now, but nah. did you really test them? It was one price. Right, so no, I still don't know the nah, story. Nah, nah, what, nah. What, what is yeah, it? What is it? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Tell the story. Tell them the story. So I got pissed. It's about this person, you know. Um, they come, I give them a haircut, and I give somebody else a haircut. That it came was him and his son, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they come in the shop, right? So um, okay, go ahead. So it was two haircuts for sixty bucks. No, 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 no. Um, it's basically like. Um, two dough cuts. No, barbershop charges um thirty readily, right? I charge thirty five. I charge I charge uh five extra. You know, so men's cut is like um. All right, so I'm still trying like to figure 40. out how they went from thirty five to sixty. Is what I want to know. No, 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 <laughs> not not forty five. It's two cuts. That 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 was the thing. Um, the the men's um haircut was um. Um, forty. Uh-huh. Well, son's haircut was um thirty five. You know, so it was seventy five uh-huh. or something. No, no, no. It was eighty dollars because I had done the the kid's eyebrow. <laughs> I had done the haircut. Right. Nah, it was eighty dollars. It was eighty dollars. Okay, eighty dollars. Okay. It was he was complaining. 40, you know, I did the, man, um, the men's well, beard, the haircut. I, would too. I did the son's cut and yeah, I did the son's um. I did the son's cut and I did the eyebrows. You know, eighty in total. Mm-hmm. And it was like. Oh, um, what? Something this and something. 
you know, coming up with things to, to like, yeah, 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 to not pay say, you, say shit, you know, to, to, I don't know how to say, um, like to, to not pay you, exactly, mm-hmm. yeah, to not pay you, to get a discount, do a self discount real quick. I gotta say one thing, you know, you know, he came back and John still cut him. I nah, him, like, bro. I don't want to say that. He didn't come back after that one. You know the things he, he said to him, bro? Yo, I still nah, want to hear the story. I, I, was, get I, it. I was about to leave, right? And this guy's here, like, just telling him mad shit. And I'm like, I'm going to just stay here because this nigga pissing me off. And he's like, nah, oh, nah, I, I was pissed off. He, he, like, he pulled the money the out of his pocket and he paid him it. Or he sent it through Cash App, <laughs> cash app or something. I'm like, nah, he gave me something. He gave me something. I was like, that's good, bro. No, no, don't even worry about it. Just go. You know, at the end of the day, don't hit me up. I'm not. So did he I'm come back to the barber shop to get a haircut? He came, he came back two, yeah, day. Came two weeks yeah. later. He came back two weeks later. What you nah, but I, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't give no. Well, I saw him. He came he to the him, shop. Right? Yeah. Nah, 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 I ain't cut him. No, 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 no. Nah, 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 I ain't cut him. He came to the shop, but I don't know if he cut him. Nah, nah, I ain't. But I saw him come to the shop. Hell no. And then, and then I was looking at John. I'm like, Yo, John, do. So, all right, guys. So check this out. You go somewhere, right? And you feel like they're overcharging you for something. Why the fuck would you go back again? Mm, nah, it's less. Just, some people just don't want to pay, so like they don't make things like that. You know, they'll no, nah, I know that, but like my, my like like how dumb does that make you look? In right that there, case, though? it wasn't his fault because he even showed him the transaction from last time. No, I get it. Exactly. Like, yeah, oh, everything. Oh, like, look, everything. Yeah, he's just trying to get over it. And I'm trying to do the same thing. That that that's the whole thing that's going on. That's crazy. No, that's not even the first time, bro. You get clients. He gets clients. You know, clients like that. Yeah, but you know what? You know how you eliminate all that shit. Not booking Booksy. Again. Again. <laughs> Booksy has the price on it. They pick the service because they agree to the price. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's it. Eliminates everything. And sometimes you got to separate yourself from clients. Send mm-hmm. them somewhere else. Send them to Yo, don't be afraid to fire barbers. clients, bro. Hell no. Nah. Nah. If you got to fire me, a customer, bro, fi- like the I've same way they'll fire times. the barber, fire a customer too if you have to, bro. Like I've done it many times. times. I've done that two times. Many times. Two times. You have to, man, sometimes. <clears throat> so far, I've done it two times. This, this one guy, bro, it just, he took, he t- he's 15 minutes late. And man, he only booked for a haircut. This dude has a whole beard. And then he just wants me to do the beard. He wants me to do this. And then those the eyebrows. He wanted like so skinny, super skinny, like barely <laughs> anything. Bro, he gave me he gave me like 20 minutes on the eyebrows, bro. It was bad. I'm like, yo, and then I, I had, a, had my next appointment waiting for like 50 minutes. Wow. Yo, I was delayed a whole hour. And I'm like, never again, bro. Am I booking with this yeah, dude? Yeah, I backed made, up. You know, it was worse. Not even about being greedy or nothing, but he made me go through all that with no tip. I don't know no why. Tip, but, bro. No tip, I'm like, damn, like, I'm not, I'm not cutting you no more. I'm just like that, like, what about you, Brandy? What, what, what about you, Brandy? I know you gotta have something. Right. <laughs> she hot out. Don't worry. Funniest last week, bro. <laughs> <laughs> last week, what happened last week? She got the Dominican guy that just. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, he, well. The the guy he looked was, at you. He's like, you can't come out of that. He looked at you. He was like, <laughs> "Oh, the old guy." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The old guy. He came straight from the boat. Yeah, he was like. Who she gonna call me? <laughs> yeah. No, but go ahead. Which one? He had gray hair, I think. Yeah, yeah. He, he calls it back. Hair. She don't remember. She she barely remember what she had right now. Yeah, I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't. Like, I, I forget. Nice. Right, so, 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 what she has happened to you in the barbershop that 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 has marked you? Head, that, that you say, damn, I'm always remember that. Uh huh. Nothing. Gonna, no, it can't. Like, you're gonna get it's experience almost every haircut, one to be gonna honest. It, like, no, it's no, almost no. every haircut. It gets haircut. bad, like, bad, bad. Like, it it's bad. usually with the kids, like, they start, like, moving a lot. I, like, I'm slow. <laughs> I'm no, already not. slow. Like, I take forever. And you moving is not gonna make it, you know. Well, it's his kids. <laughs> Welcome that to birthday guy almost, You got nervous. That you got sad. That, that birthday guy almost made me quit that <laughs> day, bro. I was, I was, I was mad. Like, mm-hmm. I, I was gonna quit, bro. As the kids are nothing, it was that birthday guy that got me mad, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, I, he has going to be I, many I, people know, that are going to walk in that I know door. his face. I literally remember they his face. And one day he came in on Christmas, he, and mind you, everybody was cutting. I was oh, the, I remember. I was the only one sitting so down. He, he <laughs> gave you the look. <laughs> he gave him the look. Jose, Jose. So Jose, 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 Jose was like, Alex. Yeah, he's like. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, don't do it. not him, no. And I'm like. I'm like, he's like, why? He's like, I'm like, that's the birthday guy. He's like, oh. <laughs> just let it be. Yo, yo, like, nah, son, bro. I, that was hilarious. <laughs> son, I'll never forget that. The look on his face, he turned white as fuck. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, yo, you free? I'm like, nah, bro, I'm not, bro. <laughs> I'm not, I'm <laughs> I'm not free. Up. 
Well, I mean, you couldn't have done a bad job. He went. He went to you. Nah, you know. No, he. That was the first time. Never again. I'm not cutting people like that. Just. No. There's yeah. many experiences you go through. Because Jesus barbershop. ended up cutting him that day, and he was giving Jesus a hard time too. Oh yeah. It was just like that. Speaking of Jesus, had some problems, bro. Jesus, we got to get you on this joint. <laughs> One, I'll do it in Spanish just for you, just to hear that, just to hear that. I think he's good on the on the English. I would love to see that nigga speak English. Uh, at least try it. <laughs> But son, he went through a lot of stuff in that barbershop, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He went through a lot. He almost got killed one day. Too. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> Not killed. Not killed. He almost, almost got his ass whooped. <laughs> I don't know about killed, but he got it. Almost got. Almost got it. What uh? What about you, Kabbalah? You know me, man. Come on. You know my stories. But it, right. So you know my something stories, must have man. happened more recently. No, I mean. not at all. No. <laughs> You know me. I lay some up. Yeah, that's a, something that I lay some up. I mean, and, I, I, and more I, if they uh, underestimated me, I love them. But it's got to be respectful of this guy. I would have gone. So. I'm kind of glad I don't got to deal with that stuff. Me either. No, it's a, it's a stage you go through <laughs> when you start cutting. You know, after you get experience from it, trust me, it's not gonna happen no more. You're on the board before it even starts. And that's why you feel Damn like it doesn't happen no more. He's thirsty. Yeah, look at <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you put the camera on that that's shit. That's a whole sip. <laughs> Yo, what yeah. the yeah. fuck was that? that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was thirsty. <laughs> Went on a marathon. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, <laughs> That was hilarious. That just killed me right now. <laughs> like, that shit burnt in my bro. mind. <laughs> no mom is wait. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up. Y'all be safe. Peace. All right, yo. Out. That's hilarious. That's <laughs> it.